Oh my god, have I shown you guys this shit? I I shared this. This is a bro. So like you know how if you like in like certain horror genres, if you make a wish too many times or you like you want something too bad it happens, like a monkey paw curls its finger. I think that that's finally happened with like Grums and crew because the internet has advertised to me the only video game that I think would 100% pass muster with like the bounding into comics Gamergate 2 people and it is fucking disgusting. It is a nightmare. Uh, this is it. I'm going to show this real quick. Uh, I don't know how this is even like... I don't know how this is even a uh, legal advertisement, but this is for a video game called Kiss of War, the globally popular game. This is this is an actual advertisement on on this is an actual advertisement for a video game browser game probably on X. So this is a real advertisement. It's a paid for ad. This is how it starts. This it, this is just fetish. By the way, and I think that these are model rips from that, like, Russian version of Bioshock that came out a few months ago. So, it's got x-ray glasses, everybody's in bondage. It is the weirdest shit I have ever heard, I have ever seen, but it is 100% the most goonery shit. Oh yeah, I forgot though, but it is still woke, so it might not work. Why is it woke? Uh, we get down here, there's an ass. You do shoot one Nazi, so more than likely, more than likely uh, not, not um, going to be up to the standards of the Wokies. This shit is fucking insane. Um, there's a whole bunch. It's obviously mostly AI generated shit. It looks like that. It it looks like absolute fucking ass. Look at this fucking face. <laughs> Goddamn eyes above the eyelashes. Hold on. There's an even worse one. I don't know anyone who's looking at these. I feel like I'm the only person that's seen this. Maybe this was AI generated just for me. They're like Tyler needs content to fill up everything with. Where's the other fucking? Where's the other fucking advertisement? I'll probably find it again later. But this is what it is. It is absolutely fucking insane. The other one is basically like, it, this is the vibe. This fucking Dom shit. Literally just selecting one of those creatures off of the fucking creatures. You know, they say those, those quote unquote uh, women things. Hey, oh, okay. Well, I guess it can't be all that bad. What's up, little dude? Brain teaser. How far can a rabbit run into the woods? Is it one of those rabbits don't run, they hop? Is that what the answer is? Either way, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stop showing off so much of that stuff. This is like a nice, a, a nice short. But holy fuck. <laughs> the other one that I saw, you pull the person down off of their, like, where they're hanged up on display. And then you put them against a wall and do, like, a cop checking them out sort of thing. And then you, like, tie them up on the ground. It is... Just porn shit. I would actually be surprised if it works that way because that seems like pretty high tech for a fucking porno game. Um, tell me if I'm wrong, I guess. But that is, uh, that's wild. I added Grums. I said add Grums, you know. Hey, I think that we finally found a game that could pass your test. It's just a uh, sexual assault simulator. <laughs> um... I don't know, but you know, we we pass all of the uh, pass all of the Gamergate two expectations. Everybody's traditionally hot. Uh, the women are in bondage. There's a, a minimal amount of Nazi shooting, you know, um, and, and you can sexually harass the characters. I don't know if it's sexual harassment, but you can do what would be sexual assault or harassment um, IRL on little on little fake video game ladies. So I, I feel like that's a win win. If you're a Gamergator out there, if you're a Gamergate two person, let me know. Um, let me know. I feel like that game has enough lore for Soylent Man to fucking follow along with, you know? The guy that we talked about yesterday. I think that's a, an appropriate amount of lore. <laughs> <laughs>
the game really spoon feeds it to you. You know what I mean? Um, but I, I don't know. I guess I'll see that again later at some point. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Uh, that that exists and that someone would advertise it. It's just a new world, a brave new world for us all to exist in. You've previously watched content with video games and anime. The algorithm will now start serving these ads to you. Oh no, it's worse than that. I've just fucking talked to grumps. If you, if you get on Twitter and you fucking like at anybody that's a part of Gamergate 2, you start getting Gooner content immediately. Like I never, I, why, why would I? I never saw any lolly advertisements. I have two other accounts that I don't engage with any of that shit. I never see advertisements for like those lolly comics. Remember we talked about that a couple months ago. I never see that. I don't see like sexism, racism, misogyny, and Gooner content at all on those other ones. But on this platform, I interact with basically center right libertarians, and so I am fucking in just uh, like I suffer a deluge of Gooner content. Um, you know, I, my other accounts, I don't get the Mad Muscles advertisements, the fucking uh, AI gay fucking animal hybrid workout ads. I don't get that on my other accounts, but you start interacting with Gooners, sharing their stuff, looking them up, and that will start sharing Gooner content to you. It's fucking crazy. And, like, I'm not looking at any fucking, you know, I'm not looking yet. I haven't looked at too much Sneeko shit on Twitter, so... Who knows? Once I start looking at, yeah, I've heard people say that you can get fucking child porn, literal child porn, directly advertised to you on Twitter. Thank God I have no proof of that. But I don't know if I look at fucking Sneeko more than one or two more times. Who the fuck knows what's going to start popping up in the advertisements? It's it's very, it's very uh, sus to say the least. Gooner City, <laughs> Gooner City overall. Hope you enjoyed your time on the